guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Masculine, welcome to this week's Yang reading. Um, sorry, I didn't get this video a little bit sooner. I wanted to give a, you know, a little bit of time between the Twin Flame reading and the Yin Yang, um, because the Twin Flame reading was so ex extensive. It was uh, an hour and a half long um, for the extended reading, so there was a lot of information there. Um, so I kind of want to let that soak in, and now we can do the yin-yang. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is the machine uh, spread. So I'm almost wanting to use different cards here, so let's do that. So I'm going to use some of the Romance Angels. I think I'm going to use the Romance Angels for um, how you are feeling. So this would be your um, your spirit or your soul in the past, present, and future. So let's pull those cards first. Okay, grab the book just in case. We're going to do some reading. Um, we're not going to do any reading for the uh, basic version, so we'll try and keep it nice and short. Um, so I also got Call It Baron Reed. So I think we'll use this for... The past, present, and future. So this would represent the future self, right here, the future self, the past self, the present self. And let's see. So this is the Witch's Tarot. So I think I'm just going to use this for the energy um, that is swirling between the past, present, and future. So this would be the energy being brought in to the future. This is the energy, uh, this is what the future wants the present to know. This is what the past wants the present to know. And this is the energy that's being brought into the present from the past. Okay, so um, I need a card from the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. So I'm just gonna pick from the bottom of the Romance Angel. So actually, let's start with that. Healing family issues. <clears throat> so it says, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this card talks about, <clears throat> sorry, this card talks about um, your relationship with your parents. So, you know, depending on how you've been brought up, how your parents interacted, it all um, is reflected on your behavior, whether you realize it or not. So um, this this card talks about healing your wounds, healing those, you know, those family issues that, um, you know, they make you decide who you're going to be with and who, you know, you're basically your life partner choices. So if you find that you keep meeting the same type of person over and over again, then you really got to look deeply at that. But more importantly, um, you know, heal 
the wounds that you have that you've been carrying around in regards to your parents. So that is the overall energy for the week of June 9th until the 16th. Okay, so let's look at your present self. Passion, allow your heart and joy, or soul to sing with joy. So passion is um, your present self. You're feeling passionate. You're feeling romantic um, feelings. And you want to express those feelings. Let me just look at the book really quick here. Okay, so seek joy. Um, you have the power to revive passion in your life. Very nice. So, you know, this is all about being in a positive frame of mind. And if you look at the Twin Flame reading, that's what this was all about, right? It's being in this beautiful, joyous, um, positive state. And we got a beautiful synchronicity here because it's reflected in the cards. Um, so the past self is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Um, so this person has either received a letter or written a letter. And in the Twin Flame reading, this concept came up a couple of times. Um, it's a good way to purge any negative energy that you've been holding on to. So, one moment. Sorry about that. That's why I'm trying to um, soundproof this room is because you can hear everything. Um, so, yeah. So that coupled with the overall energy, healing family issues, re release your ex. Um, you have made some realizations about the relationships that you've been in and you know, maybe you feel inclined to stay in a marriage um, because that's what's expected of you. Um, or, you know, there's some type of obligations that you're being held to. And what I feel with this is that you're finally releasing those obligations and you're starting to put yourself first. So this all begins with forgiveness. So that's your past self. Let's see what the past card shows. Time to take a nap. So this is, you know, putting big issues aside. It is, you know, putting relationships on hold, um, you know, and just allowing stillness into your life. So the two of these cards together, I feel that you've been through a, a rocky situation, um, and you've had to release some things in your life and you basically took some time to heal from that. Okay, so what is the energy that's being brought into the future? The Five of Wands. So conflict, um, barriers, you know, there's a lot of challenges. Um, that you're still dealing with. So this energy of fighting and conflict um, is being brought into the future. So, you know, these are minor challenges, minor obstacles. Uh, so it's all a matter of perception. Um, these, this energy is meant to make your light shine brighter. So um, maybe you feel that there's competition, but I feel, you know, this is more of a defensive energy, especially from release your past and take a nap. It's like you've been through a lot of shit and you just need to kind of catch your breath. Okay, fine. Stay down there. So I'll leave this um, card for later. So this is the energy that uh, the past wants the present to know. <clears throat> so let's look at the present position. Orphaned. Wow. Um, so this is feeling alone, feeling uh, abandoned, feeling like you have nobody to turn to. So, you know, it, it's a very reminiscent of what I'm seeing over here. Release your ex. Um, and now you feel that, you know, you don't belong, um, and that you want to 
seek your tribe, seek those people that, you know, support you, love you. Um, but this coupled with the passion card, you know, even though you feel alone, there are these emotions that are stirring in your heart. And for the twin flame reading, the overall energy was to express these emotions, right? So, um, what I'm feeling with, with this is don't hold back, express yourself, allow yourself to feel, um, you know, yes, you are still healing from a situation. Um, but the more you retreat, the more you, you know, the, the more you stir up shit in your life, basically. If you try to avoid a situation, it's just going to come back to you at some point uh, tenfold, right? So um, don't withdraw. Express your emotions. The future position. A leg up. Very nice. This is somebody asking for help. Somebody who um, wants to support you. Like this is a mother bear, right? Um, so if either family or friends um, will help you in the future position. So what is your future self? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. <clears throat> so this card is talking about um, you've already met that person and if you're looking for confirmation this is a card to give it to you so what I see with the two cards together it's you know you have this bond that is unshakable when you need her she's there for you uh, and vice versa right this bond is so strong um, so you've released your past and now you're looking to the future and you're considering, you know, your twin flame to be the one. Um, and you're making that realization and you're reaching out, you're connecting. So that's awesome. Okay, so what is the energy that's being brought into the future? the Queen of Pentacles. So this could represent the Earth sign. Um, so this is from the, the present to the future. So this is somebody who's a mother who um, takes care of her family, takes care of her home. She wants to create this beautiful environment. This is somebody who's very financially stable, um, secure within herself. So you know, you're, it's almost like you're looking for this mother figure, this connection. Um, you know, you didn't have it in the past. There was so much conflict, fighting, and, you know, now there's this idea of you reaching out and connecting with somebody who's a little bit more in, aligned with you. You know, your, your twin flame, they bring out passion and, and love in your life. So the energy you're bringing into the future is stability found at home. You know, um, you're creating a home life. You want this happily ever after um, stabilized into the 3D reality, if that makes any sense. I'm still really struggling for words. Um, okay, so what does the future want the present to know? the four of swords. So this is, um, you know, this card comes after a heartbreak, after a difficult um, ending. And you can see that ending over here. So the future is telling you to, to rest, to retreat a little bit longer, heal your heart, um, find stillness before you begin a new relationship. Um, that idea of beginning anew was also a theme in the Twin Flame reading. So what does the present, or sorry, the past want the present to know? Nine of Swords, worry, fear, anxiety, guilt. Deal with these negative thoughts, these fears, overcome. Um, reach out if you need to. You know, these 
obviously these issues are coming from your your family um, the way you view relationships right so this is all a self-imposed um, reality so if you switch your perspective into a more positive frame of mind um, you'll be more happier right and you have that ability to flip that switch so I love that you're you're clearing this the, the cobwebs um, please don't do this alone reach out for help um, and it seems to me that you that's definitely what you end up doing all right so I'm gonna pull one card from let's see what should we do let's do Osho Zen okay I just threw that on the ground by accident are you able to see these cards okay? There we go. What final messages do you have for Yang? For the collective Yang? Turning in. The Four of Cups. Now, normally this card talks about um, withdrawing, disconnect, discontent, um, stagnation, uh, emotional withdrawal. Um, but in the Osho Zen, it talks about going within, quieting those voices in your mind. Very similar to what this card is, even though this is a cup and a sword, um, the Osho Zen is very similar. But there's an emotional element added to it. Okay, so. Okay, I, I want you to be able to see the card. Can you see how there's these faces of people that you're carrying around with you? Pe other people's thoughts, other people's emotions. And this person has turned within and the water is starting to calm. So let me read that to you. The woman in this in image has a faint smile on her face. In fact, she is just watching the antics of the mind, not judging, not trying to stop them, not identified, uh, just watching as if they're traffic on the road or ripples on the surface of a pond. And the antics of the mind are slightly amusing as it jumps up and down and twists this way and that trying to get your attention and seduce you into the game. To develop the knack of taking a distance from the mind is one of the greatest blessings. It is what meditation is all about. Not chanting a mantra or repeating an affirmation, but just watching as if the mind belongs to somebody else. You're ready to take this distance now and to watch the show without getting caught up in the drama. Indulge yourself in the simple freedom of turning in whenever you can, and the knack of meditation will grow and deepen in you. Beautiful. So there is a lot of conflict, a lot of chaos, a lot of um, feeling of aloneness, right? Fear, anxiety. So those thoughts are not your own. They're coming from the past. They're, you know, subconscious thoughts. And when you bring awareness to those thoughts, they no longer control you. Okay, so um, I do hope this helped you. Please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. All right, I'll see you next week. Cheers. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, what is up with the light today? Okay, so... Um, I did the same thing as I did for the Twin Flame reading. I bookmarked some pages with some cards, some random cards. So I have not looked at these and I definitely don't want to do as much reading as I did the last time. Um, so, you know, maybe one or two cards. Um, now, the overall energy, healing family issues. I just want to read some of the highlights. So release old anger towards parents. Um, they influence your choice of partners, action of forgiveness, detoxify. So 
the angels uh, will tell you, or sorry, let me just read this uh, highlight here. Um, the angels will, will tell you rather that doing so is a form of deep emotional detoxification. It means I'm no longer willing to carry toxic energy within my mind and body. Okay, so detoxification is, you know, what's going on here, not listening to those negative thoughts, um, getting control of your mind. And, you know, getting control of your mind, you can't really control your mind. What you want to do is surrender to the mind. Um, if you need, if you feel that you need to control it, um, then you're not going to go anywhere, right? It, in order to control a situation, you need to let go of those thoughts. <clears throat> you can witness them, you can watch them, um, but don't identify with them. All right, so your overall, or sorry, your present energy was passion. Um, very positive card. Uh, this passion is being carried forth into the future, but there was this warning from the future that you still need to withdraw. You still need that time to rest and to heal. Um, there's a desire here for you to run away basically from this conflict, from th these people, from these this negative energy, uh, a drama queen, uh, an energy vampire. So running into the arms of somebody new <clears throat> or even your twin flame um, isn't the best thing to do. Remember, the universe is telling you to withdraw. So um, I do have the Witch's Tarot companion here. So I wanted to look at um, the Four of Swords. Okay. So it says, you need to take some personal downtime, recoup lost energy, find your strength again. Um, you're feeling overwhelmed by the demands of stress, so you need to withdraw from the hectic and daily grind. Uh, allow yourself time to recover from illness. Step away from a group. Okay, so you need to practice solitary time, is what the future is telling you, and the universe is telling you. And that's the energy that you're, you've been in in the past and will continue to be in for this coming week. Okay, so let's move back to the passion card because I still need to pull, pull some clarifiers, but I really, you know, wanted to emphasize this message from the universe first. So passion, you know, this is expressing your desires. It's feeling passionate. I read a little bit of it earlier, but it's being in... Um, a passionate bubble, you know, and allowing positive and romantic feelings to flow through you. Um, and it is an action card as well. So there's this stirring of wanting to take action, wanting to express yourself, but there's um, a definite warning that you still got to deal with the, the past first. So let's pull three clarifiers. So I'm going to use um, my small confirmation deck. What do you mean by passion? The page of earth, the justice or karmic card, and the chariot. So we've got two major arcanas. So the past position, we have the page of pentacles. This is a commitment to a long-term goal. So while you are in this withdrawal period, you're looking to the future you it's a positive energy because you are starting to realize that you have a way out that you can create a new life for yourself um so this may be considering a new job moving 
you know, it has something to do with the 3D reality and it is commitment. You know, once this page makes up their mind, there's no turning back. Um, so your, pre your present self is optimistic and hopeful. Um, you're feeling passionate, you're feeling romantic feelings and you're very aware of the law of attraction. Um, again, there's this idea of sending positive vibrations out to, into the universe and having it return to you. And that was a, another theme of the twin flame reading. So the karmic card is justice. You feel that justice is served. You feel that you're justified to create a new life for yourself, to begin anew, to consider different options. Um, and karma is here to say that because you've decided to live a more passionate life, to do things that make you happy, to pursue hobbies that make you happy, that that energy will come back to you in a positive way. The future position, we have the chariot, which is movement forward. So it's taking control of your life, directing those reins towards that goal. So where there was no movement, there is very controlled, powerful movement forward. So this is the will. This is control, power, overcoming those obstacles. And if you look at the past position, we have these challenges, these, this negative energy, this chain holding you back. But also in the present, we have this feeling of orphaned, right? So these two cards go together. So you want to rediscover that passion. And like I said, you will take control and move forward. So let me move on to the orphaned card. So the orphaned card... Um, is feeling like you don't have anybody with you. So I'm just going to read a couple of highlights. So a sense of loss, identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. So as you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for support, but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing what you feel you deserve. So the a leg up card is just about that somebody reaching out to help you that help is coming in the future position so you are not alone um, so it also says perhaps you're drifting away from a relationship because you are in a different stage of personal growth and perhaps an, uh, hold on and perhaps you're in a new relationship and discovering that you don't share the same values and beliefs so you feel left out, unable to get that intimate place of your of safety and belonging. Um, so this card comes to reassure you that love um, is on its way, um, and and will okay. Spirit is with you and will steer you in the right direction of those who accept you as you are, without artifice or agenda. Don't compromise yourself to belong. It won't be worth the price. So don't compromise, right? Don't feel guilty. Don't feel alone. Um, spirit is there to help you and they are guiding you. So do what you are passionate about. Do, you know, pursue the things that um, you desire. Okay, so let me pull three cards. The Nine of Swords again. Very interesting. The Queen of Cups. The Six of Swords. So the Nine of Swords. Now remember that the Nine of Swords over here, um, this is what the past wants the present to know. Let go of worry. Let go of those anxious feelings. Um, and again, I have the book out, so let me just read the highlights real quick. Oops. Okay, so... The meaning is drama queen. It symbolizes a person who is having a crisis or causing drama. Um, they could be an, emo an emotional or psychic vampire. Um, they see themselves as a victim. So things have reached their peak. So the message is not to give in to the dramatics. 
to defend yourself and your personal energy. Okay, so there is somebody in your environment who is sucking energy from you, right? You know your past self is, is you know, in this energy, right? It's withdrawing or it's, it's sucking all of your positive energy out of you. So you know what you need to do. You know you need to, re to release that energy. Okay, so Nine of Swords, past position, which is why you feel orphaned, you feel disconnected, possibly with a water sign. But what I'm seeing here is the Queen of Cups is somebody who gives unconditional love. They, you know, you can um, push them away time and time again, but once a water energy falls in love with you, um, they're with you for you know a lifetime those emotions never go away they can't just simply cut them off so you feel orphaned you feel disconnected see how this energy is facing away from the queen of cups you feel passionate towards her you want a future with her and so we have the chariot which is also a water energy um you know coupled with the Queen of Cups. So there's a movement towards that water, towards emotion, towards love, uh, towards making a connection. So the Six of Swords in the future position is movement and calmer state of mind, which is beautiful. That's exactly what we want to see from the Nine of Swords into stillness. But this is also making a decision to walk away from somebody who is emotionally draining, who is a vampire. Um, so the Queen of Cups could also represent somebody who is emotionally imbalanced, who is all about the drama, right? All about her feels. So, yeah. Um, but I'm not really picking that up here. What I'm feeling is a sense of, of disconnect, wanting to reconnect. And realizing that in order to disconnect or in in order to reconnect i need to disconnect from my past and moving to this calmer state of mind is exactly what we want to see okay so the nine of swords let's pull some more clarifiers for this so the nine of pentacles seven of wands heart chakra awesome so again this is a position of what the past wants the present to know so the nine of pentacles in the past position this is um feeling successful feeling like you've arrived you know you're financially stable you can splurge a little this card is all about self-love um but it's also nearing the cycle of completion you're almost at that ten of pentacles you're almost at that long-term goal so the page of pentacles coupled with the Nine of Pentacles, um, you're ready for a new beginning. You're ready to start a new cycle. Um, and, and you feel, you know, financially secure in order to do that. The Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, very similar. Um, you know, this is all about um, connecting with nature with the beauty of the 3d reality um yeah <clears throat> so this is what the present wants or sorry the future or sorry, oh my god i can't talk um the past wants the present to know is that you have already achieved greatness that stability comes from within you know there's nothing out there that you need to chase after so stop worrying um you want your independence you want to regain your independence but it requires you to stand up for yourself so the seven of fire um is having that confidence that power to say what's on your mind to to stand your ground and remember a highlight of this card was to regain your strength don't engage in negative right so stand up for yourself and again that 
theme is repeated with the Seven of Wands. The future position is the heart chakra. So you will feel unconditional love. Um, but it, it, like I said, it comes from, you need to come out of that dark night of the soul, completely release these feelings, these emotions, and heal from it because there is love in the future for you. So I know I'm kind of skipping all over the place here. I apologize. Um, let's look at the, the past. Okay, so release your ex. So, you know, this is all about letting go of those energy vampires. Um, it's time. It's time to cut the cord. So let go equals freedom and happiness. Make a decision to let go, to detach. Peel, it's like peeling away the layers of an onion. Okay, so anytime your ex continue, you know, pops up, um, make that decision to, to release. And you have to continue to do it over and over and over again. Um, so release emotional you have to release emotionally and energetically from your your ex so the time has come to clear your energy okay so your your past self um has had it you're done with any karmic partners you're done uh with any chains holding you back you want your freedom and the past is encouraging you to to finally clear, to overcome those challenges. Okay, so three cards for that. The Alchemist, the Queen of Swords, and the Solar Plexus Chakra. So the Alchemist is that decision. It's an activation of awareness, of consciousness, pure consciousness. Um, and so it's a realization that you can create a new life for yourself. Again, giving credence to the Page of Pentacles, this new beginning, um, you know, and then action forward. So the, you need the magician in order to, um, you know, start a new journey. It's that decision. It's that choice is made. So beautiful, powerful card. I'm done crazy we got the queen of swords in the present past position so this could be the masculine energy um but i think what it's pointing to release your ex you know it could represent an air sign but what i'm feeling is this energy who is very cold very cutting um no holds bar she'll say what's on her mind just mean person right so there's Again, awareness of this person. Um, you don't have positive feelings towards this person. And so this is who you're releasing, your ex, your karmic. Okay, so the future position, we have the solar plexus chakra. So this is courage, uh, power, will to overcome. So again, repeated energy of of stirring up this courage this power we got seven of wands the five of wands coming into the future the chariot in the future um and the solar plexus very cool synchronicity are you able to see that all right so the past is the time to nap so Again, putting things on hold, it's non-action, um, there's no need to do anything. So it says rest, rejuvenation, and renewal. Temporary non-action, allowing dreams to arise. Yeah. So withdraw from action in your relationship and give it a rest so that your love and connection can become rejuvenated. So what I feel is, you know, again, repeated theme over and over and over again to continue to be in that state of healing there will be a time for action but it's not right now so this was the past energy 
there's a lot of chaos and conflict happening around you and you're at the point of uh, no fucks given right I'm not going to give any more of myself I'm going to take back my power which you do very cool so the ace of wands nice the grand awakening and the knight or the king of swords wow we have the king and queen coupled together uh, in the past so this is an unemotional detached um, clear concise decision you know to move away from um, somebody who's an energy vampire so the eight ace of wands in the past position is a go like go time again pointing to the magician over there that activation um, so this is an aha moment uh, an ignition a realization um, that you can have a life that's more in line with yourself this could also be creative ideas but it's also passion right um, you have that spark twice uh, like ignition switch going off and then a movement into stillness as you realize that you have the power to release yourself so that would be represented by the judgment card as well the grand awakening realizing you can have a different life um, realizing that you've been controlled by conditioned behavior from your parents from society and so you're also hearing the calling so you're looking to the future the uh, again the king of swords is somebody who is takes action makes decisions cuts away barriers right so f find that clarity <clears throat> the king of swords is somebody who is mentally um, you know in control of their thoughts he's a double heir he's a king which is heir and then you know sword is heir I can't believe how incredible these cards are lining up okay so the energy you're bringing into the future is the five of wands so conflict somebody is um, challenging you there's let me just read the highlights minor annoyances petty arguments that need to be dealt with um, and it also says that there are challenges ahead so you need to be clear in communicating your goals and desires to another right and so that's exactly what is happening here and what I feel here there's a desire to communicate to express yourself to reach out all right so let's pull three cards for that the three of fire five of swords wow and ace of swords so three of fire again pointing to the past this activation that something uh, happened that awakened you that encouraged you you're getting encouragement from the universe um, you're starting to you know recognize that you are powerful <clears throat> so the three progresses to the five you know and the past is saying progress to the seven stand your ground the five of swords is negative energy a lot of conflict here with the five of swords and five of wands you know so this is somebody pointing the finger accusing you of something um, but it's also recognizing that you need to withdraw from that person there, you know this is um, not winning at all costs it's realizing that's you know there's too many people getting hurt by the conflict and the ace of swords future position wow again making that decision the king of swords holding that ace of swords right putting an end to the conflict putting an end to these silly antics that's enough it's a very triumphant positive card realizing a truth all right now we're moving to the future um, 
So let's look at the energy you're bringing into the future is um, the Queen of Pentacles. So why do I keep looking at that? All right, so the queen is happiest when she's nurturing others. She is devoted wife and mother, uh, an amusing friend, generous hostess, and passionate lover all rolled into one. So this card speaks of welcoming cozy homes, ha happy families, beloved pets, loyal friends, fun, and affection. So the energy you're bringing into the future is a desire to have a happy life. You know, be with somebody who can provide that sense of safety and, and home. You don't want this negative energy to follow you any longer. What? The yin? The sun? Oh my God, I just realized something. Uh, the sun and the moon. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just go back to that Queen of Pentacles real quick. Um, hold on, sorry. So it says, um, the Queen of Pentacles is often linked to the Empress card. If they should both turn up in a reading, motherhood is a prime focus. The Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing energy and so is the Yin. So this is the Divine Feminine. You met her in the past. You realize that. You know, could this be the one? Yeah. Avi. Uh, this is what you desire. This is who you feel passionate about. Not the karmic. The present. The sun. The most positive card in the deck. It also represents masculine. The moon represents feminine. Now, in the Twin Flame reading, there is this uh, feeling of you taking a step into unknown territories, right? And so that's what this card would represent. It's taking that leap of faith, going for it. So this, she is the sun. She is um, the beautiful, vibrant star in the sky. This is what you desire. This is what you want. So the sun is also new beginnings. I feel so much love here. Home. So the, the moon is facing those fears. Okay. Or it could be the feminine energy. The sun and the moon are one. awesome so the future self is this could be the one you already have met the romantic partner you seek so this card talks about you overlooking something not seeing the true value in a person but also you know it is confirmation that you have already met the one your twin flame So three cards. And this also talks about expressing love for that person and that this connection is reciprocated. You both feel it. The philosopher, the king of fire, and the knight of earth. So the philosopher, um, this is somebody who seeks solitude for spiritual reasons. They withdraw from the 3D reality to find stillness within themselves in order to find answers, guide others out of the darkness. So you feel that in the past you've been um, disconnected from the feminine for good reasons. Your present position is king of fire, very powerful leader, passionate. Wow, you're carrying that passion into the future, uh, fire, sexuality, creativity, realization that you can change the world. Could also represent a fire sign. Um, but this is the masculine energy. Okay, fire, passion, creativity, uh, leadership. The Knight of Pentacles, 
uh, is a slowing down of this, but it is, you know, the Page of Pentacles is now turned into the King of Pentacles. Um, and you're bringing the Queen of Pentacles with you. So there is this ach achievement that is happening in the 3D reality, and you saw that in the Twin Flame reading as well, right? Um, so this is slow and steady wins the race. Very calculated, determined, committed to achieving that long-term goal. So when you pursue the things that you're passionate about, right, um, you live passionately. You are passionate. You become passion. And so there's almost like this sprint, and then you kind of slow down as you reach the finish line. You, you find the one. You discover the one was always with you all the whole time. Okay, so a leg up. Again, this speaks about, you know, asking for help. So receiving help, delegating authority, interdependence. So relationships thrive on interdependence. Right, so connect with people, allow them to support you and vice versa. Okay, throat chakra, the page of cups and destiny. Throat chakra um, in the past position. So what I'm feeling with that is those cutting words, that negative energy. Um, no, actually strike that. I don't think it has anything to do with this release the X at all. Um, what I feel is it's connected to the one. Okay, there's this desire to reach out, to communicate, to open up, feeling orphan, feeling alone. And so what you do is you do just that. The Page of Cups is um, expressing your love. Cool synchronicity. So this is messages of love. Um, this is the muse. They make you... You know, they don't make you do anything, but you, you know, they inspire, they, um, they draw you into this ethereal, um, beautiful dreamlike state, the bubble, right? Um, and this is also desiring to start a new relationship, connect. So in the future, this is what happens. You desire to communicate and you do so in a very loving way. And as a result, um, you know, you you get the help you need, but you make the connection you need as well. Je the Destiny card, future, uh, so this is good luck, good fortune coming back to you. And again, major theme of the Twin Flame reading. Wow, synchronicities. So good luck will come to you um, if you make that choice to open yourself up. You know, there's no action that is required of you. Um, just being open will help release that energy. You know, be open to love. Um, you will pursue your desires, um, but I think this is just that heart opening happening here. And then as a result, you feel powerful, you feel strong, right? That solar plexus chakra, all the wand energy here, the, f the sun, you know, just you, you move from the dark into the light, into love. So what the future wants, the present to know, the four swords, you know, like I said before, it, this is withdrawing. Um, there's still some healing that needs to be done. Patience. The crown chakra and the three of pentacles. So patience. <clears throat> sorry. Um, the four of swords is all about patience, right? Um, have patience. Don't um, do something out of spite. Don't react. Um, you need to be patient with a person, right? So. The patience card is having balance in all areas of your life. Coming to the state of 
oneness with yourself. And we see that with the crown chakra, again, being in the now, connected to source with spirit, right? This is what is needed, okay? And as a result, you will create this uh, foundation, this security, once again, right? Whatever you are desiring, that foundation will be laid. But don't overindulge, don't um, force your way, right? Come from a place of stillness and oneness. Go within over and over and over again. Wow, over. I can't believe how many times that theme is repeated. The way out of the darkness is to go within. All right, so let me just look at these cards. This is a hell of a lot of cards here. Take action to be happy. Foresight. Um, we can see that again. Foresight of the future, right? Planning for the future. Um, using your instincts to guide you. You want to be happy. Take action. Careless abandon. Be like the fool. Take that leap of faith. Helping hand. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Somebody helping you. So by being, you know, being that free spirited energy with the king of fire, it will attract what you desire, your passion towards you. Um, commitment. <laughs> These are such positive cards. A commitment to yourself first. And free will, are you kidding me? Free will. The king of fire is all is a free spirit, unchained. Ha. Huh. So I don't want to spend too much time with that. They they pretty much read for themselves. The way to be happy is to reach out. Helping hand, make commitments to the long term goal and find that that power, that free will to overcome any challenges, to break yourself from any bonds that are holding you back. Holy crap. Okay. Um, so I do want to try to keep this short. So let's pull one final message from the universe. What final message do you have for the masculine? Flying. You have the power to see things from a higher perspective. Yes, that's what this reading is about. If you were, if you were a bird flying high in the air, what would you see? When you soar above life's challenges and opportunities, a new perspective becomes available. Today you have invisible wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. This is a sign that your waiting is over, that all of your hard work has paid off, and the things you've hoped for are no longer beyond your scope. You have the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. Spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. Oh my God, I almost cried with that. And that's what I see with the, the king of fire, the sun, right? The page of cups, the chariot, the heart chakra, king of swords, ace of swords. Yes, they all point to this freeing of the soul freeing of your passion. So beautiful. So I hope this helped you guys. I'm sending massive love your way. All right. Cheers.